Hi everyone, this is Siva Navin, Social Science Facilitator of Class 10. Today's class, we are going with a new syllabus, our new chapter, that is Opposition to British Rule in Karnataka. In previous class, we were learning about the impact of British rule in India. Going further, we are talking about the British opposition of British rule in Karnataka. In this chapter, we are going to learn about Hyderabad and Tipu Sultan, Dundi of Vag, Rebellion of Amara Sulia, Rebellion of Halagali Bedas, Anglo-Indian Wars, Rebellion of Kitturu, Rani Chandamma and Sangoli Rayana, Rebellion of Surapura. Coming to chapter, we know that the present Karnataka, what was there, that was scattered among various uh, uh, principalities before integration, apart from the establishing political supremacy during the later part of 18th century the british exploited the people in agriculture and trade in order to protect their own interest this exploitation created insecurities across karnataka the local kings suffered insecurities as a result rebellion against the british happened in most of karnataka in the beginning the zamindars the kings and the zamindars and kings battle against the british individually without attaining unity among them hyderali and his son tipu sultan put up for a strong opposition british by realizing the strength of their mysore kingdom the political development emerged during the 1761 to 1799 were very important there was an important opposition mounted against the british rule in india so uh, the in the 18th century what we are there that is we are calling as a, in the history it is considered as a century of political problems why it is calling as a century of political problems means we can say here the death of Aurangzeb uh, that is uh, Aurangzeb was a Mughal emperor in the 2000 sorry 1707 was the main reason the first reason was the uh, why we calling because the, there was no mughal ruler was a uh, strong ruler was there but mughal ruler that is the last ruler aurangzeb died that one his uh, death was weakened the mughal emperor as a result mughal last political struggle that is took place in Carnatic region Carnatic region we can call as the what are the south indians of the part of south indian we can call and uh, before the death of Chikka Deva Raja Vadaya, that was in the 1704, uh, created the various political challenges in Mysore state. Uh, his death, what are the Chikka Deva Raja's death, created the problems of secessions and administration. All these developments clouded the politicals of Mysore. Hyderali uh, gained the prominence in this scenario, what was there, the initially he clouded over the Mysore and Carnatic region. Who is this Haider Ali? We can talk more about Haider Ali in today's class. Haider Ali, Haider Ali joined a Mysore army as an ordinary soldier, but was known for his shoveled political moves. He came into prominence during the siege of Devanahalli uh, and action against Nizams of our court. He was known as innovation in arms usage. The one marks question they may ask a question like this who was the, known as for the innovation in his arms usage that is a Haider Ali was a innovative in the, his arms and usage with the shift of action he become the Dalvai and uh, sidelined the Krishna Deva Raja Vadaya that is a part uh, Krishna Deva Raja Vadaya second and established control over the administration. The Nawab of Arkot, Marathas and the Nizam supremacy over other took also the present day political existence. We are going to speak about the things that is the first Anglo-Mysore war. Uh, the war was started in the year of 1767 and ended with the 1769. 
so any war has to happen there should be some reasons right what is the reason of the first anglo mysore war see here anglo mysore anglo is the british east india company and it is related to the mysore that's the reason it is calling as anglo mysore war the prominences gained by the hyderali in the south was not able to tolerated by the british and marathas and nizams of hyderabad the british started devising cunning plans to defeat hyderali whom they saw the inventions of or the uh, expansionist ideas hyderali suffered lot due to maratha aggression and uh, he made the attempts to have the marathas and nizams of hyderabad on his side with a little success the british on the same time the british entered to an agreement with the marathas and the nizam of hyderabad against hyderali the three uh, the tri party alliance is much what are the tri party alliances here means one is the nizam of hyderabad marathas and british this three together we are calling by the name of the tri party alliances but hyderali somehow he manipulated it as yeah and bring up breaking up uh, he successful in the breaking of that uh, alliances also meanwhile political uh, disturbances that uh, attract uh, emerged in the arcot in 1769 hyderali and nizam of hyderabad attacked arcot uh, you may have the confusion here sir just now you said that the tri party alliances between the british and uh, marathas and nizams how the nizams can come to the hyderali part i already said that the hyderali manipulate that and he break down that uh, alliances that is the reason nizams of hyderabad here but the king of arcot had an alliances with the british arcot had have alliances with the british that the battle took place in tiruchanapalli tiruvannamalai ambur and other places it is not to uh, take place in the on the single place it has been taken in the places like tiruchanapalli tiruvannamalai and uh, uh, ambur and other places hyder ali organized the lighting attacks in this battle the british captured a few places hyder ali suffered uh, we can say as a few setbacks in here not a uh, majorly he defeated some of the part he has defeated the british military form a from military joined the war here so from the uh, uh, military formation what they are from the bombay they have joined the war hyder ali was considered war was challenging for his uh, personal power and continued with the war his army reached madras in the year of 1769 and created the panic among the british the british entered the british entered an agreement with the hyder ali that is we are calling as a madras treaty that has signed in the year of um, we can say it is in the year 1769 the first anglo mysore war ended by the signing the treaty that is madras treaty total overall here the war was ended with the treaty that is a madras treaty we are calling that is a between the hyder between hyder ali and british after that the after the, what is the growth is there that is we are going towards to the second anglo mysore war before that we have to talk about the before that we could have talk about the uh, hyder ali we have spoke about this is about the hyder ali and uh, first anglo mysore war first anglo mysore war reason we have said what are the courses we have discussed and the, how it has been ended that has been ended with the madras treaty and the upcoming class i am going to talk to you about more on the second anglo mysore war third and fourth anglo mysore war after that i will be talking about the people who are the native of the karnataka they have rebelled against the british like kitturani chennamma dandiya vag amarasulia the tender thank you for watching video stay tuned to gjs have a great day ahead